Epic has just added the conversation device in UBFN. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how all of it works, like finding the device, going over all the settings, and showing you how to set up your own conversation blueprints to make branching dialogue trees. This is really cool, so let's just get to it. So first things first, if you want to get a, a, a you know a conversation device, uh, go into Go go into Fortnite, and search up conversation. And here it is, conversation device. We'll bring this out. Now this is really cool. I go into here. You have a conversation type. As you can see, there's going to be a radio, which is the radio menu seen in Battle Royale, which is going to be like the circle menu. You have a box uh, response, which is the typical square layout, which uh, allows an infinite number of, of responses, which is really cool. And you can use you can also use custom widgets too, which allows up to six responses. So for now, we're just going to use radio. I'm going to show you the rest later. The speaker name, if you know if you know the maps I'm making, you know who this is. Come, you know who this is. Um, so here he here's correctly. Uh, show name when you're by. Can we do show name when you're by? Let's, let's put it on him. Show indicator bubble determines whether or not the speaker is applying a speech bubble indicator. So this shows up like a this shows a little like speech bubble above them. It looks like it's pretty cool. Indicator bubble range. Um, that's a, that's that's the range of the bubble. So 25 would be you know 25 meters. Oh, I might just put keep it on five. Advanced. Number of conversations allows is really cool because you can have like up to 100 conversations at once uh, with this one device. Uh, multiple different players doing it. Conversation max name. This is if, um, let's say, you have a max number of people talking to the character. You can do like, can't talk now. All right, so we're just going to use default for now, and I'm going to show you a custom widget later uh, when, when, when downtime ends um, because it's actually not ended yet. But I, but I, you know, I can get in early. We're going to, uh, if you go down here, we're going to see something. You're going to need a conversation. We need something very specific. It's called a conversation bank. What we can do is we can go into our conversation option down here and we can make a conversation bank up here or we can go into the content drawer. We right click, we go up to gameplay and as you can see right here, conversation bank. Click into here, we now have a conversation. This is going to be our airplay convo. We'll go inside of here and here we are in the conversation editor. Now to actually use this, um, what you need to do is you just have to right click. We're going to make a default entry point and this is going to be the, you know, the entry point for our, you know, our, our, our conversation. We want to click onto this little bar right here. Then once you get the bar, you want to drag down. And the first things first, we might do something like a speech. And this is what Crappy's going to say first. So he's going to say, hey man, what's going on? <laughs> do you know who I am? Well, let's just do that, for example. And then after this, uh, once we made our speech, we can make uh, responses now for, for the dialogue. So what we can do is we drag out again, and in here, we can do response. And this is going to be the responses the player can make. If the response would be like, yeah, I know. I'll be the first response. Then we can do another response. Not at all. And then you can do like, you know, another one. And depending on what kind of thing you have. So for example, radio can only have up to five responses. Box can have have an unlimited number of responses and custom can have six responses. So just keep that in mind. So this is, you know, I'm going to use radio. So say nothing. So now we have this nice little uh, dialogue. Okay. Next step is that we can, from these responses, I can do, I can do, I can then do a speech, which is like, Okay, good. So you do know who I am. So that's going to be the speech when you say yes. Then we can do another speech, which is going to be for when you say no, but not all. And then when you say nothing, you can go like, you are alive, right? Perfect. So here's some cool little dialogue options. Now, for example, if I get this response uh, for say nothing, I can actually, if I get rid of this, I can do a new node and it's called, um, it's called random. What I can do, if I go out of here with a speech, I can do, um, or, or I can do another one that's like completely different dialogue, like, hello. So I can, I can randomize the text, uh, for different, for different things, which is really cool. And obviously you can keep going from this. You can just do another response and you can make it. So if you want, you can flow it into the same thing. So if I get a, I can do this, I can do a response and, and then I can put, put it into the same response over here and let's say once we have our answers what we can do is we can get something called a conversation event and what this will do is if you know if you remember from here in the events you have um you have on conversation about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten in here this is where you'll have your events so as you can see you can see your event number you can change it to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and so for example if you say okay here we can do event one which will be uh so you can detect if someone says that you can also then um if i do another conversation event number two you get this event if you know you say nothing now let's say if for example we got a bit messy and uh this one like you know over here and it looks a bit odd where like these lines are going through each other and stuff like that. Um, what we can do is we can click on the line like so double click and you want to click this, you want to select it. Now what we can do is we can now drag this node, we now reorganize our thing. Now it's a bit better. So do it again here. 
double click, uh, select it, drag it. How do you look at that? It's nice and organized. Now these are called reroute nodes. So you can like, you know, you can reroute your conversations and make it a lot more organized like that. What you can also do is on like a node, you can go up into a little the comment bubble and we can add a little comment bubble saying like, this node is for this, etc. And you can and you can you, know, you can make it so it doesn't uh, scale or whatever. So you, you know, it'll be helpful. You can also click uh, shift click or and select all the nodes you want and press the C key and it's gonna make a comment and you can be like for saying nothing or something like that. Then we do uh, this is like you know see this is this is regular. So now we have like commented out our our areas and so now we can like know which uh, thing is which. And also in the comments, you can change the font size of the comments. Uh, you can uh, change the color, so you know, make it look like how you like, how you want to organize it, stuff like that. It's really useful. Yeah, in here, you see the restart conversation. Problem is, is that if I try to plug it into here, you're going to see that I can't actually connect it to either of these nodes. This is because we just need one more response node. And this is going to be, uh, let's say, end conversation. That's going to that's gonna be this node. I'll put that into there, put that into there. I'll put that into restart conversation. So then this is going to reset the conversation. Now also, so what you can also do is let's say here um, where you say nothing, uh, you can also if you delete this, what we can do is we can use an option. If I right, if I right click, we can do um, repeat. And what this will do is um, if I put these both into here, this will bring the player back to up to here where they can, you know, do the options again. If that makes sense. Now, as you can see, this is only restarting a conversation, but you're probably wondering how do we actually end a conversation? So I might just get rid of this. The, pr the easiest way to do it is right click. We're going to get a conversation event. We're going to put this into here. It's going to end the conversation. And we're going to get the event number maybe like five, for example. And now back inside of UEFN, what we want to do is we want to exit conversation in here. Uh, if you click on the conversation device we have on, you know, conversation five, because that's the event we've selected that will end the conversation if that makes sense i know yeah just um i, I was actually wrong about repeat uh, when it would it repeat it only goes back up to up here so it, it will just keep on saying uh hello are you alive hello are you alive <laughs> you know what i mean so what you do is you can repeat it for a one two three four five six or whatever um, how many times you want so if i just do one time repeat and then after kind of like down here we need to do another one of the conversation events we'll just bring it up and then this will end the conversation then so probably should repeat one of these lines twice and then we'll just you know stop talking you can also exit all conversations uh you also need to initiate the conversations so to do that what we can get is something like a button there's a button and it's gonna be like uh talk to correctly and then uh for example uh, now we can do initiate conversation on when the button is pressed by a player so that will give the player the conversation when they, when they talk to correctly which is really useful okay for this i want to make three different examples uh one for a, a radio menu and then i'll make another one over here i'm gonna go over here for a box menu and i'm gonna i'm gonna set this to a box and as you can see if we do a box as you can see there's a bunch of different options now like title text color border color background color body text color border color text color body background color and all this it's crazy so i might just do title because it's correctly it's green you, you can just go in here and change all of this as you like oh yeah and of course i've got to mention uh if you go down here uh, remember to go to conversation and then add in the conversation we just made which is uh kind of correctly calm. same thing with uh the other one now i would normally go into game and show you how this works but again downtime is currently on so i'm just going to show you how to make a custom module dialogue widget for one of these devices so if i go into contour i go into content and i right click uh, what we need to find is we can go into user interface uh, widget blueprint. I'm going to guess it's module dialog variant. This is going to be convo. And actually, if you look in the device, it says module widget. So we're going to need a module dialog widget, which is what we just made. Now, if you don't know how to use the widget UI and everything, I have a full tutorial about it. Uh, go check it out if, you, if you're completely lost. But uh, this is how you would make a, you know, a uh, thing. So view bindings. As you can see, we have a view widget candle, canvas candle, and an, an add condition. What we're going to do is just for this, I'm going to make a text block up here, which is going to be this going be the name of the person speaking i'm gonna have a dialogue this is gonna be the dialogue then these are gonna i want to make a few options so i'm gonna make a button apply it down here be option one remember you can up to, you can have up to six options for uh these so i'm doing option one two then finally option six i'm gonna bring that down there so if we go into view bindings um first one our name uh we're going to add the widget blueprint text block we're going to go into here we're going to get the text and then we're going to here we're going to create a module module dialog widget and we're going to find the title which is this. And then that's going to make the type, the name of the person in this device, which is uh, speaker name. 
that's going to be now uh, name. Then in the dialogue, what we want to do is we want to add that to here. We're going to get the text again. Go into here, a bunch of like widget things, and then we're going to get the body, and that's the body of uh, you know the, the 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 conversation that's in right now. Then what I want to do is I'm going to make this a bigger so I can actually fit the dialogue. So if I do blah 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. As you can see, it's not wrapping, so we can go down here. Uh, we can turn on no wrap text. There we go. And then that should be good. As you can see, it's a bit, um, it's not perfect, but you know how it goes. It should be fine. Uh, then in view bindings, what we can do is, um, I just realized these are backwards. Hold on. Then in view bindings, um, what we need to do is we need to make our buttons work. So we're going to, we're going to add a button. What we want to do is we want to do, uh, one way to view model. Click into here, conversion function, and then we're going to get, we have response version one. We're then we're going to grab the creative view model dialog. We're going to get response. And then in here, we're going to link it to the thing we want, which is going to be, uh, play button one, which I'm going to guess is that. And then we're going to get the, we're going to get the click event of that. So no, no get response one is now for the click event of option one. Okay, so the next step is that just like one, uh, option one, we're going to bind option two to six as well. So we're going to click on two, we're going to add the widgets, point of view model, conversion function, I get response button two this time because it's bind two, part of module dialog widget, response, then go down to option two and then grab click event and then we're just going to do that with every single button so this is what it should look like after you're done you should have this like you know button on every single option and you have their other button response and you have like you know a response and every click event and everything just have something like this this should be good this means every single button on your screen is now hooked up to each event in the uh you know in the dialogue device now just keep in mind remember these um we get response button four they are not inside this device they are not the um on conversation event one two three four five six they are not that they are the responses inside the dialogue tree. Now, speaking of responses, there's another thing we need to do is in the actual buttons, uh, the text inside of them, we need to change it so to, to, the, to, to the text of the responses. So, you know, it makes sense. So we're going to grab, you know, widget one. Then we're going to grab it in widget one. We're going to go down text and we're going to keep that the same. And then we're going to go into here. We're going to go into creative dialogue view model. And then we're going to go find button one main text. And we're going to select that. This is going to make it so that the text of the response is now going to be the text of the button. And we want to do that again for every single thing. And also just remember, uh, you need to get button two main text, button three main text, button four main text. It, it depends on which button it is. So as you can see, two would have two, three would have three. And then this is what it should look like with all the buttons hooked up. You, you have the, the main text of the module view model going into the text of each button. So it's going to make the responses in each response inside of our conversation um, bank into what it's in here. Now we've got the name uh, dynamically changes to the dialogue. I'm actually going to make this a bit bigger since it's the name. You know, I'm just going to make it look better. Like the dialogue, maybe the name green so this correctly. You, you, you can change that to whatever you like. Uh, no, actually, funny enough. The thing is actually, um, just to let you know, that there's actually another way you can get, get these. Um, if you go into option one or really any option, make a new little, little binding. You can go into here and you can get the new, the new thing called unclicked. This wasn't here before. And you want to create an event. And we're going to create an event for unclicked. Then if you go into here, create a module dialog vid widget view model, you can then get response down here. Then the response you can get Get is a button uh since button one would be button one that's another way you can do it but just to let you know uh this does the exact same thing as this so and there's also one last thing we need to make sure we have done so if you look at your options buttons let's say if we only have two options you're going to see a, a problem that happens where all the other buttons they have no text inside of them but they're still there and you can still see them so how do we make it so you can only select two options so to do this if you go into option one you want uh, we'll just do option one for example and we're going to need all of these options let me just expand them uh, we're going to go into here we're going to find visibility then once we have this we need to go into here go into the creative modal dialog view model and then in here we want to find the button one of visibility and we'll add that basically what this one will do is it's going to detect if the visibility of the view model button is it even there or not if it isn't it's going to tell the button here to disappear and we can do that again for every single every single thing in here so we get the button two visibility there we go and now this should auto update to if the how many options there are so this button's Let's say there's only four options, but option five and option six will disappear and you can't see them and there'll only be four options. So that's how you dynamically would change that to how many options there are. Now to make this even more fancy, we can add a little image right here.
here. This is going to be an image of our little character who's going to be talking. <laughs> there we go. I had a little image of uh, Kirby in there. Perfect. So it has a little, like, no image. This is just, just a show off, I guess. What we can also do is we'll just select all of this and I think I might move it to the side a bit. There we go. That looks better. And that should be good. We don't want to compile it. It should compile perfectly. And then we're just going to make a third Kirby and it's going to be our custom widget UI. Now, what we can do is inside of our conversation device, we're going to grab a. Where is it? Where is it? We're gonna we're gonna cover the same type. We grab custom. We're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find custom widgets. And we're gonna add in our one we just made, which is combo. And now we have a custom widget inside of our conversation device. So here we are in game, and as you can see, uh, there's a little like a uh, little arrow icon where the where the dialogue thing is. Uh, I think it's a bit low actually. So I might just uh, just grab all of the crap, please, and we're gonna bring them up. So there we go. Perfect. Now as you can see, the the arrows are a bit higher up now, and the, you know it, look, it looks better. So for example, let me talk to the first crap, please, which is the radio menu and um, let's see what he says it's like hey man what's going on do you know who i am and he's like nope yeah i know nope not at all say nothing and i'm gonna say yeah i know like okay good blah, blah, blah. so it's so yeah it's all working now and it ends the conversation talk to him again we can do nope not at all different odd things like in the, in the whatever there we go perfect then we can do say nothing and he's like oh hello you can repeat it and that's gonna end perfect now this is the next option, which is the box option for the dialogue. So in here, the dialogue doesn't appear above correctly. It appears inside of this little like box down here, with his name. And he's like, hey man, what's going on? You know who I am? And it's the exact same options as before. So, you know, we can go through here. You can say, nope, not at all, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? This is, this is really cool. And remember, you can change the visual style of this box inside of here. You can say nothing. You alive, hello. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and then final correctly this is our custom ui so if you talk to correctly like, hey man what's going on do you know who i am yeah i know no nope not at all say nothing so we can do do yeah i know okay good you do know who i am so you can see it's dynamic the buttons are dynamically changes to how many options there are so now it's just you know one option so, so it's working say nothing uh hello he repeats it twice so this is how we can make custom conversations using like dialogue trees, custom UI and everything in UEFN. It's pretty cool. Now, sadly, this isn't in a Creative 1.0 because you need to use the dialogue trees and everything to make it, which you can't actually, you can't use obviously in 1.0. It's kind of sad. But anyways, that's about it for the tutorial. Remember to like, subscribe, use my code in the front of the shop. And thank you to all of our members of the channel. Remember to watch all of these videos, more of my content. Uh, that's about it. I'll see you all around.